12. And we're going to start this teaching off by, I want to show you that you have all the faith you need. You don't need no more faith. You have all the faith you need. Romans chapter 12. God has given all of us who believe the exact measure of faith needed to fulfill our role in the body of Christ. What you need to do God's will, the faith that you need, has already been provided. But what we have to do, we have to develop that faith. What do I mean when I say develop? The, the word develop is the time that to grow, to mature. My favorite definition is to move from a lower level to a higher level. I'm always wanting to advance. I'm always wanting to learn more. I'm always wanting to increase. Because the more I learn, the more I know, the more I have, the more of a blessing I can be. That's right. And we can't just settle for mediocre, mediocrity. We have to move above that. We have to rise above that. We have to lose the mentality of, I only want enough for me. We have to lose that because I'm telling you, even though it sounds humbling, it's selfish. Because you're saying that you don't care about nobody else. As long as your bills are met, that's fine. As long as your needs are met, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, if you don't want a big house, if you don't want a fancy car, that's fine. But let God bless you with more and just take what you need and give the rest away. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Just take what you need and give the rest away. Yeah. Don't say, I don't need it, I don't want it. Say yes, Lord, so you can be a blessing to others. Amen. 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 I want to get you a place where I can buy a personal house. Amen. I receive that. You know what I mean? Amen. I'm serious. I want to buy, and then not just one house, two or three houses. Amen. You know? Glory. I, you have a listen. big God. <laughs> we, we do. And I, I, I listen to uh, different pastors giving their testimony, and a lot of them do that. Now, some people get mad about they They bragging. No, they're giving their testimony. Yeah. You know, the book, the Revelation 12 and 11, is that says that we overcome him by the blood of the Lamb yes. and the word of our yes. testimony. Yes. That's right. encouraging to me. I don't think they're being arrogant. I think, well, if God did it for them, yeah. he'll yeah. do it for me. Because yeah. I want to see God doing things like that so I know that it exists. Yeah. Amen. 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 Oh, man. Romans chapter 12, verse 3. Yeah. If you have it, say, I have it. I have it. Paul said, For I say through the grace given to me to everyone who is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly. As, watch this, as God has dealt to each one. Now my Bible says a measure of faith, but the traditional King James says the measure of faith, which I believe is the most accurate. He's saying that we've been given the measure of faith that we need. You don't need no more faith. Everything you need, all the faith you need, has been given to you Amen. to accomplish God's will in the body of Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, before we move on, let's dissect this verse. I, I'm one of them, I like to dissect verses. I like to go inside and search them out and study them out, you know, because there's a lot of meat in these verses. First of all, Paul wasn't saying that we're not to think highly of ourselves, because I heard people say that, well, I'm not to think highly. That's not what he said. If you examine the verse, he said that we're not to think more highly of ourselves. The key word there is more. Don't overestimate yourself. Mm -hmm. All right? Some, sometimes, because we may hold a higher position, or maybe we have more material things than others, or maybe we're applying our faith at a higher level than others, we, we, we tend to oh, uh, think, think that we're better than others. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's saying here. He said, don't think that you're better than anyone because I've given each one of you the measure of faith that you need. It doesn't matter. See, listen. It doesn't matter where we live, what we drive, how we look, or where we're at. God loves each and every one of us. Amen. Our problem is we've been allowing the world to be the standard that we use to judge our worthiness. And you can't judge your value from the world standard because the world standard is materialistic. The more you got, the higher they deem you in the world. You understand what I'm saying? And it's a sad commentary because I, I like to give the uh, example of uh, Shaq. I use Shaq a lot. Shaq, one of, one of his contracts for his last basketball game, if I'm not mistaken, 
He had seven years, and they signed him. They gave him like two hundred million dollars, two hundred million dollars for seven years. Okay. Now, if he was to go in a restaurant, and the most expensive restaurant you can think of, and went in there to eat, most likely they would buy his dinner because he's a celebrity. He's a he's, he's, he's popular in the world's eyes. He's high quality, right? Yeah. But now you take a homeless person and send them to that same restaurant, and they'll call the police on them. Amen. And the homeless person is the one that needs to meet a meal for him. Stop yeah. him by the restaurant. <laughs> so see, the world's way of thinking is crazy. It's, it's offset. So don't let the world be the standard in which you judge your worthiness. Sometimes we can get so focused on, 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 on how the world judges us and, and how we look in other people's eyes, how people view us, that we miss our true value in God's eyes. That's right. See, my worthiness comes from my relationship uh -huh. with God. All right, now. I'm a valuable person. I love me. <laughs> now, <laughs> you don't love you, you got a problem. Oh, yeah. okay. Amen. See, I'm in love with me. Yeah. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> it's important <laughs> that you love yourself right. because right. the greatest commandment says you have to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul and all your strength, yeah. right? You love the yourself. second one is just like it. You're to love your neighbor as you love yourself. You can only love your neighbor to the degree that you love yourself. That's why a lot of people tend to be, uh, uh, appear to be mean. They're not mean, they just don't love this themselves, so it's difficult for them to love you. You understand? So you have to love who you are. How do you do that? By recognizing who you are and whose you are and where your worthiness comes from. You will have people talk about you. Right. You will have people put you down. They talked about Jesus. Uh -huh. But Jesus knew who he was. Uh -huh. In John 8, 23, when he was talking to him, he said, I'm from above. You are from here. He was, he was distinguishing the two. See, he didn't, he didn't care what they thought about him. He knew where he was from. He knew who he was. We have to have that same attitude. That's why he's not telling us not to think highly of ourselves. We should think highly of ourselves. Just don't <coughs> overestimate yourself. Because some Christians think too low of themselves. Mm -hmm. They have no self-esteem, and that shouldn't be. You should, as a Christian, depression shouldn't overtake you. Low self-esteem shouldn't overtake you. Because you are the child of the most high. Amen. 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 You are a king. Yeah. You are a king yourself. Yeah. The Bible says he's king of kings. Well, what king is he king of? We are kings. He's Lord of lords. We're little lords. Amen. That's right. We're even called little God. Amen. Psalm 82 and 6, I believe it is, and John 10, 34, Jesus says. So we're even little God. That means that we'll represent him in the earth. Well, I can't represent him in the earth if I have low self-esteem. Uh -huh. I have to look. It doesn't matter how big you are, how little you are, how tall you are, how short you are. You understand? That doesn't determine your value. When you allow those things to determine whether you are valuable or not, you are judging your worthiness from the world standard. 